Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl C, and I'm back with another video. And so I'll be placing some almond oil in a measuring spoon, and I'm gonna be placing that in there twice. I am making two eight ounces of new lip gloss. I'm gonna see how much it makes. I mean, I'm going to do the video to show you guys how much it really makes. I'm going to be taking this brown pigment from TKB Trading and I'm going to also place that in the measuring spoon and put it in the cup once each. I'm going to start mixing that with a spoon. Um, I usually do this to liquefy the pigment because if you don't then when you put it in the lip gloss it will come out very chunky and you will see the little brown dots in there you do not want that so this is a way I have came up to avoid that I'm going to be using this mini mixer. I bought it from Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. And I'm going to be using that to mix the liquid a little more. I mean, <laughs> to mix the pigment a little more to avoid the dots like I spoke about before. And it got really messy, so I had to switch to a bigger cup. Even, I mean, a bigger plate. And even in the bigger plate, it got really messy. It was splashing everywhere. So, um, be careful. Make sure you are doing this in a secure area. I am also using my white liquid pigment from TKB Trading. I was actually checking to see if they had the white powder one instead, um, and they don't. They used to have it, but I guess it was discontinued. I just got back into making my lip gloss videos. If you guys have noticed, I haven't made a lip gloss video in like months. So um, when I went back to TKB Trading to look for the powder pigment, powder white pigment, it was discontinued. Now I am taking my polyisobutane. This is this is the liquid that will make your lip gloss appear shinier. I don't know if that makes sense, but you guys always ask about it, and it is called polyisobutane. I will leave the correct spelling down below. Sometimes I forget, so remind me. Um, and this liquid is the uh, the preservative oil. I am just going to be placing that in a measuring spoon as well and applying it to the to the lip gloss. This is the oil that will help with the shelf life of your products. You don't have to use it. Um, a lot of you rather use the vitamin E oil, but that's not enough for me. So I rather use the preservative oil as well. I know a lot of people don't do it. So yeah. Now that I have successfully mixed the pigment, I'm just going to be applying it to each container. These are not my measurements, by the way. Um, I am just showing you guys how to make the lip gloss, but this is not my actual measurement. So. My lip gloss base is usually pre-mixed. I usually mix everything together before I make these videos. Sometimes I won't use it, and sometimes I do. So I'm just letting you guys know that it was already mixed with all the oils. Now I'm going to go ahead and mix everything together. Be careful when you are doing that because it's actually filled to the top. 
If you guys have bought this lip gloss from me or watched previous videos, you know this is called Paradise. Simply because it was pure scented, but I have changed the flavor and made a cotton candy. So eventually I'm going to change the name. I don't know to what as yet, but yeah. Now I am getting ready to fill the tubes. I am going to be placing the lip gloss in the syringe. This is an extra large syringe. It holds way more lip gloss. But it gets really messy, so just take your time and fill it as much as possible. So the whole point of me doing two 8 ounce containers is for me to show you guys how much of the squeeze tubes it can fill and how much of the wand tubes it can fill. But I totally lost track when I was making this video so that's not what really happened but um, eventually I made 30, I believe it was 30 squeeze tubes and 16 wand tubes. I bought this rack from Amazon and it is way easier when you're filling out the lip gloss tube. You don't place it on the table and then the lip gloss start falling over. So the rack was pretty convenient. Um, I also bought that from Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. Right here, I'm just going to be cleaning off the lip glosses and placing the cap on them. Um, that's pretty much it for the video. You guys can keep watching me do this or do whatever. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. See you in my next video. Mwah.